you mind speaking in English? Do you mind speaking English, please? Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Aida. How are you tonight? Fine. Fine. Okay. Nice. That's nice. Con calor. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes it's kind of hot. Look, my hair. I just, yeah, I just made a ponytail. Hair. Okay, people, uh, today is Wednesday. Okay, today is Wednesday. And Thank you, uh, Char. Hi, Saul. How are you tonight? Fine, teacher. Oh, thanks. Nice. You will be in class Connected. today. Very good. Um, hello, Matalicia. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Good, teacher. Okay, nice. Well, today we have, um, let's say, a topic that is kind of complicated even in Spanish, okay? Uh, for us, uh, the key to manage or to master the topic for today is to learn um, expressions, okay? To learn expressions, because if you try to translate the way we do it in Spanish into English, then it's not going to much, never ever, okay? You will fail with that. So um, I want, to take you to the topic for today, okay? Because the topic for today is by learning expressions, learning expressions. That will be the way to master the topic for today, okay? The topic today is how to use imperatives, okay? The topic for today is how to use imperatives. But we are going to see this into the context um of giving directions and talking about locations. So, for example, when we travel to a different country, to a different city, maybe we are not familiar with the places over there or where the things are located. And it makes us um, to ask questions, right? It makes us to ask for directions and to request um, the directions to get to any place we need to go or we need to get. So today we are starting with how to use imperatives and introducing the class officially. And then we are going to do our review, our feedback from yesterday's class, okay? So uh, let me just to um, share the screen with you. Mm. I didn't share it correctly. So <clears throat> this is the way that I like to do it. Okay, so how to use imperatives. And this is about giving and asking uh, directions. Okay, asking for directions and giving directions. In this case, we need to learn some questions. How are we going to ask or how are we going to request for the directions how to get to a place? So this is what we are going to learn today. And uh, of course, we are going to talk about the imperatives we use. Those are expressions. Mm. Well, see, I also 
the prepositions of place, okay? The prepositions of place. And at the same time, we want to see the imperatives, how this work when we give the directions to get to a place. Okay, let's start by, let's start by doing our, our feedback. This is a written exercise, even though uh, we want to do this in a very practical way in a conversation we are going to call this written but at the same time is uh, it is a speaking exercise okay so first of all i want to take you to uh a to a conversation online okay to a conversation online i want you to listen to the conversation and complete the quiz um, to complete the comprehension questions about making plans, okay? Using be going to and trying to get the dates, trying to get the vocabulary we learn. Remember uh, the suitcase, the hotel vocabulary, uh, the luggage, words like hotel, motel, um cabin room accommodation and many these okay and also at the same time we want to use the correct uh, form of be going to because we are talking about plants okay i will share the link with you while you are listening to the exercise to the audio i will call the attendance okay so i will give you the first link this is a conversation talking about the plans that this woman has because she is expecting for someone who comes to visit town, okay? Coming to town. Not Santa Claus, right? Not Santa Claus coming to town. Mm -mm. Uh, but uh, a person, okay? A person. So I'll give you the link. Hmm. Oh, I have what what happened with the link? Copy the link. Chat. Okay, there it is. For some reason, I cannot open the the WhatsApp, guys. Can you please share it through the WhatsApp meanwhile I am trying to open the WhatsApp app? Only send t -shirt in WhatsApp. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Sol. All right, everybody. What you have to do there is to... <clears throat> listen to the conversation. It says coming to town, right? There is an audio over there, so click on the play button and listen. Listen once, then you can play it again. And at the third time you want to listen to it, you may go to the script. If you don't get um, the piece of information you are trying to, uh, that you are trying to uh, confirm, okay? You guys there yet? 
Yeah, teacher. <coughs> I really. Okay. Okay, go ahead and listen to the audio by yourself. Okay. Individually. Okay, teacher, and answer the question, no? Yes, you answer the questions, but at the same time, okay. I will call the roll, okay? Oh, and while okay, you are listening to the audio and doing the exercise, I will call the roll. So please, everybody, turn your camera on, and when I call your name, you say press. <coughs> Guys, ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Present, teacher. Alma Yamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Algardo Vázquez Espino. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Damaris Lizette Guevara Herrera. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Y estaba por ahí Yajaira. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Ok, Fernando, thank you. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Presente, Che. Ok. Gabriela Lizette Hernández Cruz. Presente, Che. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Presente, Che. Ok, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Okay. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Ok, Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present, teacher. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Present, teacher. Ok.
¿Y cómo lo sienten? <coughs> Easy, right? Vaya, vamos a dar dos minutitos para que lo vayan a comentar allá en el breakout room, ¿ok? Así se les va a hacer un poquito más fácil ya todos dando una opinión, ¿ok? Hola. Hello, Alma, Stephanie. Hola. Hola. Entonces vamos a, a escuchar el audio, Barbara. Sí. Y luego vamos a contestar las, las preguntas que vaya, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo voy a poner ahorita. Ok. ¿Se escucha? No. No. No se escucha. No. <coughs> oh, <sí. coughs> Creo que es individualmente que tenemos que escucharlo y vemos ahí las preguntas. No, no, se, pudo, no se pudo reproducir, ¿verdad? Sí se puede, pero no sé si ustedes lo, lo pueden escuchar porque ya le había dado play. Uh, Escuchamos la bueno, individualmente. Ajá. Bye. When is your brother getting into town? On Thursday at 8 o'clock in the evening. Are you going to do anything together that night? No, I think he'll be too tired and will probably just want to go to bed early.
yo entendí. Uh -huh. I understand um, she is uh, Monday. You need Monday. Uh -huh. Okay, and the number five, yo tengo, por ejemplo, what are the plans for Friday afternoon is picnic in countryside. No sé si es. Picnic in the beach. In the, at the beach. At the beach. Okay, and what is the Mexican restaurant in 7th Avenue? And mm -hmm. where are they going to have lunch on Saturday? Yo tengo in Central Park. Okay, and number eight, uh, what surprise does Heather have for her brother? Es a basketball match, porque menciona que es difícil, pero ya he conseguido. Sí. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Probamos y después lo volvemos a hacer. A mentir, estoy chulo. No es la primera, Mario Mala. Ya, vamos a ver. Mark Answer. Solo la 3 me salió mala. ¿Cuál te salió mal, Freddy? La 1. Y a mí la 3. Es que en, uh, ah, quiero ver, en la 1 es... En Thursday. ¿Cuál es tu answer en number 3? Está en mute, Marta. Está, no la escuchamos. No, perdón, yo les estaba hablando. No worries. Este, quiero ver. Free. En, en la, la six. En esa no, no, no contesté yo. No And what qué, is your no, answer en no. number three? We stay at home. Yes, that's correct. You see, so. Te dije, Freddy, que era. Stay at home. Pero está buena, está buena, está buena. Las seis. Me dijiste que no pudiste. Sí, te dije, no la puse. No sé ni por qué no la cambié. Bueno. Okay, give give Marta the number six, Saul and Freddy. What's the answer for number six? Where is the Seven Avenue. Seven Avenue. Seven Avenue. Okay. Seven Avenue. Mm -hmm. Seven Avenue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uf. Y vos en la Me pasó la anécdota de que cuando la tienes correcta en el examen y la cambias y te sale mala. Yeah. You're right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm sure in the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the result, sure? Yes, yes, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, I... I screenshot and copy on.
There is someone who wants to... Oh, okay. It was Rosie. Okay. It's okay, Rosie. No problem. Okay, everybody. So what's number one? Number one answer. Uh, who, who wants to read the question? Freddie, please read the, the question number one. Sarcasm. <laughs> because I knew that it was your, your, your uh, wrong one. Number Sorry. Number one. Number one. Number one. It's it. What time does his either's brother arrive in town? Mm -hmm. So what time oh. is he going to arrive? Eight p.m. Thursday. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's in the evening, right? Mm -hmm. Eight p.m. Thursday. Thursday. All right. What about number two? Ronaldo, please read number two. Sí, teacher, ahí tuvimos bastante como confusión. Para mí es Melbourne. Igual no salió bien, pero la pronunciación sí me costó un poco. Melbourne. ¿Es así correcto? Okay. English, Melbourne. please. So, read the, It's the correct question. Melbourne. Yes. Okay, uh, question number question. two. Question number two. Where is he, where is he flying from? Er, mm -hmm. eh, is he? anger... Uh, Melbourne, uh -huh. letter D. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. okay. It's coming from Melbourne. It's flying from Melbourne. Okay, what about number three? Number three. Stephanie, can you please read the question and give us the answer? What are they going to do on Thursday evening? Mm -hmm. uh, stay at home. Yeah, because she says that maybe he is going to be so tired and the other thing that he would want to do, I mean, would like to do is to go to bed early, right? Mm -hmm. Get in bed, they say, right? Get in bed early. All right, uh, number, what, what number are we in? Four, teacher. Okay, then number four, please, Owen. Teacher. How long is Terry going to stay with her? Mm -hmm. The answer is until Monday. Okay, that's a preposition or an adverb also. Until, 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 until yeah. Monday. Until Monday. Eso significa hasta. Okay, mm -hmm. until significa hasta. Hasta mm -hmm. until. Okay. Mm -hmm. Until Monday. Okay, next, please, Isabel, read the next question. Number five. What, what are the pledge for free day afternoon? Okay, leamos la juntas, Isabel. What are the plans? What are the plans for Friday afternoon? For Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. What is the answer, Isabel? Picnic uh, beach. Yes, correct. Okay, number six, please, Gabriela. Where is the Mexican restaurant? Mm -hmm. I'm sure is Seventh Avenues. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. It's on the Seventh Avenue. Seventh Avenue. All right, thank you. Now, number eight. Please, uh, my, um, uh, I was going to say, it's Steph. number seven, teacher. I'm sorry? It's seven. seven. Is it? Oh, okay. Number seven, please, uh, Marta Esther. Where, where are they going to have lunch on Saturday? Mm -hmm. The answer is in Central Park. Okay, what about number eight, Alma Yamilet? Um, what surprise does her have for her brothers? The answer is a basketball match. All right, there you go. So it's very interesting when we put all the words that we learn in one single conversation, right? Here you see all of the vocabulary we know at the moment. We know the be going to, 
we know the present simple, mm, we know about the prepositions in, at, on, okay? And also uh, we know how to mm, tell the time, how to mm, talk about activities like go to a restaurant, stay at home, go to visit friends, go to Melbourne, and the time expressions like two weeks, Friday, Monday, a week. Maybe we didn't know until because we don't use it that much, but until, right? Until. Es sería la única until. palabra entre todas que no hemos estudiado en este módulo, ¿verdad? Pero de ahí hemos visto las actividades, las preposiciones in, uh, on, at, Mira, hemos visto el be going to, el presente simple, y es bonito ver eh, todo el vocabulario en una sola conversación, todo unido, ¿verdad? Cómo opera la cosa. Ok, vamos a ver entonces ahorita, vamos a pasar a otra cosa importante. Les agradezco mucho a los que ya finalizaron la plataforma. Tengo varios que ya finalizaron, pero tengo muchos que están así como con duda en algunas. Por ejemplo, hay algunos que en la primera tarea, digamos, me han eh, dejado con la nota baja. No han ido a revisar nuevamente para poder hacer el 100, ¿verdad? De ahí tengo varios que la unidad 4 no me la han trabajado, ¿verdad? Me la han dejado hasta la segunda, como hasta ayer, ¿verdad? Entonces ya... No siguieron intentando las demás. Yo, yo les sugiero que vayan probándose, ¿verdad? Que vayan probándose hasta la última y hasta el examen. Para que cuando ya llegue la clase, ya ustedes ya solo corrijan las ideas que en donde sí han tenido error. ¿Verdad? Bien. Eh, tenemos una actividad, una actividad muy importante que aprendimos y era booking a... A room in a hotel, right? Or booking a reservation in a hotel. Así que vamos a ir a escuchar otro igual como el que acabamos de hacer. Es una pequeña conversación. Mm, no, vamos entonces a hacerlo así, ¿ok? Lo vamos a hacer así porque ya hemos practicado las que tenemos en el libro. Entonces vamos a ver esta, este slide, ¿ok? Tengo algunas partes de la conversación regadas por todos lados ¿verdad? regadas por todos lados entonces ustedes lo que van a hacer es organizarlas ¿sí? ordenarlas solo déjenme ver por favor porque yo tenía un eh, uno abierto para poder pasárselos directamente Y que lo puedan ustedes ordenar a su modo. no voy a hacer entonces just for sharing the video no sé qué lo hice perdonen ah, por algún lado lo puse Pero... <coughs> Se los voy a pasar así ahora. Okay. Lo vamos a copiar de esta manera para que podamos pasarlo a un file, el solito. Y ya lo puedan ustedes manipular.
ahorita se los voy a pasar el, el file. Ahí va. Que lo envío así en el PowerPoint para que ustedes puedan poner los cuadritos en él. Vale, vámonos al recap room y lo hacemos ahí rapidito, ¿sí? Vamos a ordenar la conversación en un orden lógico, ¿sí? Vale. No me parece esa opción. El de compartir la uh -huh. pantalla. Ah, usted puede, Stephanie. Lo que no puedo es ordenarla, porque no tengo yo PowerPoint. Oh. Entonces, sí, ah, tiene bueno. que compartirlo. Okay. Aquí está. Pero... Estefanita, tal vez puede compartir su pantalla para que vea a ir a dónde están. Mm. Bye. This sir Renaissance Hotel is Charles speaking. How may I I help you? Good evening. This Andrew Smith. I really like to make a reservation. Okay. Uh, uh, how many people? How many people do you need room for? For two people, please. Okay. Y aquí sería esta, no? Would you like single or double room? Okay, what does include? Okay, see, so will be problem for me. Okay. 
Sí, sí, estoy, estoy bajando. <laughs> it's downing. <laughs> Okay, it's, how long are you going to stay with you, sir? Okay, y luego, and then is, it was not a problem, Mr. Mel, when do you inspect? Sí, es esta. Ese sería el penúltimo y el otro sería el último. Sí, lo voy a poner acá arriba como, continu como continuación. Okay. How much is that? It's this one ten night does include mail expenses. Only brave was include in the room. Pistol. Okay. Um, um, okay. Nice hotel to use Charles speaking. How may I yes. I'll help you? Good evening to you, Sandra Smith. It is like y la otra para mí, eh, la tercera sería la esa, 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 ajá. Okay. Y la primera. Um, Esta que están seleccionando ahorita debería ¿Sí? ser como la tercera. Antes de World you, you like a single or double. Ah, double. Antes que le ofrezcan. Ahí le pregunta cuándo se estaría registrando y luego le preguntan sería una habitación doble o una sencilla. Aquí acá hay cinco y that in my experience pero eso sería abajo de how many would you like sería abajo de la segunda la tercera sería de how many people do you need le dice para cuántas personas necesita la habitación para dos me gustaría una habitación individual o doble it will not be a problem Mr. Smith when to you
Y no le encuentro el Ay, señor del huerto. No le encuentro el chat. <coughs> ya le di copiar. Okay, I think in the first uh, part, everybody uh, everybody agree, agrees, right? Uh, Renaissance Hotel, this is Charles speaking. How may I help you? Good evening, this is Andrew Smith. I'd like to make a reservation. What goes next? How long are you going to stay with you, sir? With us, uh huh. Uh huh. Anybody has a different order? Uh -huh. yeah. Tell me, Alma. <clears throat> Como si I turned the picture. <laughs> The, to my group in the chat, the Zoom. Ahí le mandé. Okay. The screenshot. Tell me Alma again. Le mandó la screenshot. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first thing is that after a uh, request, you have to captura uh, este. Okay, you have to give an expression or uh, that you are willing express. Or, uh, you have to express that you are willing to help. You are willing to do what they are requesting for. Okay, it, it doesn't matter if you have it or don't uh, available. Okay. Uh, for example, um, 
Okay, for two, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a very good order. Mm -hmm. Alma has, how many people do you need room for? For two people, please. Well, actually, the first thing that the hotels ask are the availability with the dates. Uh, when are they going to arrive to the hotel? And then what? when are they checking out, right? When are they going to um, check out? So the next part, I think it will be uh, the expression willing to help in the... The question, when are you going to arrive, okay? When are you going to check in, if, if I'm not wrong? Yeah, let me to get there. Mm -hmm. When do you expect to check in, sir? I'm going to arrive on Sunday, August the 1st. Because if I don't put it that way, then I, it, would, it will seem as if I am not act, doing active listening, okay? So... <clears throat> After it will not be a problem, Mr. Smith. When do you expect to check in, sir? Um, going to arrive on Sunday, August the first. Then the next one will be how long, right? How long are you going to stay with us, sir? And then you say from August the first to August the fourth. Okay. Después de ese, después de ese, iría how many people do you need room for? The number three, teacher. How many people? How many people? Four? No, no. Uh, how many people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tisha. Number four, how many people? And number uh, five, uh -huh. would you like a single or a double room? Uh -huh. And then how much is that? Right? How much is that? And the last one will be, does it include meal expenses? Right? Okay. You got it? In my group is change the number six and number seven teacher. Mm -hmm. Alma has a very good order too. Okay, but because she's avoiding the inactive listening and repeating the question, right? So that's good too. Because she says, uh, would you like a single, oh, no, right after Andrew Smith is requesting for making the reservation, she says, how many people do you need room for? For two, please. Okay, right? sure. It could be. But the first thing a hotel does is to ask uh, and, and, um, and see the availability with dates. Okay, with dates. That's the first thing they check if they have the availability for the dates. Okay. And then the room. Okay, then the room enough for how many people. Okay. Got it? Let me just share the screen and show you mine. Okay. Did you receive a message I sent when you were in the groups? Did you receive a message? I broadcasted a, a message, okay? Uh, you should follow the example on page 41 in your manuals. And the first thing they do is to confirm the availability, asking for the dates that they are going to stay with us, okay? So... It will be this way, okay? It will be this way. Uh, and the next activity I want you to do, guys, and this is very important, it's that we are going to, it's not writing, but trying to do a dialogue and practice with a partner. And you just add two more amenities offering and requests. For example, right? Mr. Acevedo is calling. Right, he wants to book a hotel room. Entonces van a hacer una como esta, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, eh, pueden decir el, 
nombre de un hotel, ¿sí? Y de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Mr. Acevedo. Uh, my name is Mr. Acevedo and I want to book, I would like to book a reservation, a hotel, right? A hotel room, I'm sorry. And then um, you continue using this example or the example on page 41, okay? Got it? Here is the information you're going to use. So let's go, everybody, okay? Let's go, everybody, back to the breakout rooms. Are we okay? Ahorita les mando esto. Are we okay so far? Si sí, eh, comprendemos lo que vamos a ir a hacer. Did you understand it is a, a right dialogue and the one option is, is blue or all? I'm sorry? It's all, if, for example, the, the cada una de las azules or, or is this one? No, no, eh, toda la información está en la tablita azul. Mira, okay. Ahí está la información de los datos que ustedes van a hacer la pregunta y dar la respuesta sobre uh -huh. este dato. Okay, okay. teacher. Right. teacher. Mm -hmm. You can follow the example and the one that we ordered already and the example on page 41. Okay, got it? Sure. Now let's move just a little bit over here. Wait, wait, wait. Let's recreate this. Okay. Se no me veo yo. Este era seguido.
Uh, en la izquierda tenemos la, la información que vamos a dar. Uh, to write the dialog. Vaya, yo entendería que podría ser así como una, una llamada de una reserva de hotel, digo yo. Así es. Ok, Sorry, teacher, teacher. No, sorry, teacher. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, call, eh, call o hotel reservation. Ah, ok, no, teacher. Hotel Reservation. Hotel. Hotel. Thank you, teacher. I like I like uh, <coughs> I like uh, ¿Por qué le pones? Lo que pasa es que... Pero ahí, ¿por qué le preguntan el nombre? Ah, ¿Qué sí, le dice? Sí. Ajá. Es que te sí. que llama. Ajá. Es el, el mismo. Hello. Hello. Uh. How's your name, please? Y ella responde. Of course, I am Mr. Acevedo.
Ay, no, mi mamá escuchando las noticias, a mí me estresan. Mi mami Sí. también. Ay, no, que murió una señora en dolores y yo, ay, señor. Y no le baja un Okay, then we want to listen to, let's see. Okay, let's listen to Alma and Isabel. No lo terminamos, teacher. Pero, ¿hasta dónde llegaron? Teacher, nos falta bastante. Estábamos <risa> cada uno en su cuaderno dando unas opiniones porque no podíamos compartir pantalla. Ok. ¿Quién sí la terminó? Raise your hand. Disculpe, creo que nosotros, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. We'll play the conversation and everybody take as an example and let's see, all right? Okay, teacher. confirm the see my okay I work it uh, with the Maris the Maris mm -hmm. okay and okay role play the we... conversation sorry teacher role play the conversation okay teacher um the Maris you start Your letter eight. Vamos a hacer la conversación. Yes, please. Okay. Inicias tú o inicio yo. Usted, sí, usted. Okay. California Hotel. This Alvarez Piki. How may I help you? Good evening. This is Mr. Acevedo. Wants to book a hotel room. It will, it will not be a problem, Miss Mr. Acevedo. When do you expect to check in, sir? I am going to arrive on Friday. How long, how long are you going to stay with us? I said, Us, with us. Us. With us. With us, with sir. Us, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, from Friday until Monday. How many, how many people do you need room for? For one people, please. For one person. For, 
for one person. Oh, yes, teacher. Sorry, teacher. It's people list. <laughs> it's plural. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, Damaris. Good, good. You like a single or double room? Well, like a, a single and non smoking room. How much is that? It's 38 per night. Eight? Per night. Yeah, but how much? Is ah uh, when it's three thousand eight per night. Again, again, three three thousand eight no, no, per hundred, night. Hundred, 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 three hundred, hundred, three hundred eight per night. Mm -hmm. Same teacher. Mm -hmm. ¿Tengo que está ahí? Uh, the last one, the Maris. Does it? Does does it include my expense? Only breakfast is included in the room price. Right. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Hey, teacher. Uh, taking as an example, uh, that was a very good strategy. Okay, you took a very good strategy. Let me just do uh go over here and. Okay, al principio in in um uh, uh, number one, number two. Uh -huh. uh, déjame ver en la pantalla. Okay. En la primera. Dice, this is Mr. Acevedo. Y hay que usar polite language, ¿verdad? Ahí como uh. cómo haríamos el request. I hmm? I would like mm -hmm. to book a hotel room. I would like I to. Like, I would. Yeah. Like. I would like to. Porque así como lo tenía, to. diríamos, eh, soy el, el señor Acevedo. Querer eh, reservar like. un hotel, perdón, un cuarto de hotel. <laughs> o sea, nada que ver. ¿va? Hay que conjugar sure. siempre con el sujeto. Okay, teacher, teacher. I would like to, y quitamos once, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I would like to book a hotel room. That's good. Ok. Uh, tomemos ejemplo los demás, ok. Y eh, la vamos a practicar quizás de una sola vez. Vamos a ver. Eh, Stephanie, eh, ¿con su grupo lo pudieron armar? ¿Hasta dónde llegaron ustedes? No, teacher, todavía no, todavía nos faltó. ¿Iban más o menos así como ellos? Eh... No, todavía no. Todavía no. Vaya, vale. Stephanie con su compañera era... Permítame. Marta Alicia. Ok, con Marta Alicia. Role play this conversation, please. Ajá. Y en vez de decir mister, digan Mrs, ¿verdad? O Miss. Mrs. Uh -huh. Mrs. Ok. You ready, Marta Alicia? Ok, there she is. Yes, teacher. ¿Mm? Solo leer, teacher. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. okay. California Hotel, this hotel, this is Alvarez speaking. How may I help you? Good evening. This is Mrs. Acevedo. I would like to book a hotel room. It's would not be a problem, Miss Acevedo. When do you speak to check in, sir? I am going to arrive on Friday. How long are you going to stay with your sir? With us. With us. Um, from Friday? 
until Monday. How many people do you need room for? For one person, please. Would you like a single or double room? Would you like a single um non-smoking room? I would like, le faltaría ahí. I would like. I would like. Uh -huh. oh. No, no, I, at the beginning. I would like a single. Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. I would like, teacher. Uh -huh. Continue, Thanks. girls. How much is that? Is... <laughs> How do you say 308, teacher? A ver, a ver, a ver. Three Digamos el primero. No, no. 300. Ah. 300. Eight. Eight. Is mm -hmm. 300 per night. Ajá, pero hay que decir el, la moneda, ¿verdad? It's 308 dollars per night. It's Three hundred eight dollars dollars night per per night. Mm -hmm. Does is it include meal expense? Mm -hmm. Only breakfast in included in the room price. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Vale. Eh, yo lo que, lo que pienso es que tal vez se ponen muy nerviosas porque hay palabras que todavía no las eh, han practicado mucho, las han leído, las han visto, saben qué significa, pero para decirlas eh, no, ha, no han tenido mucha práctica. Pero para eso, cuando ustedes se sientan así que no les sale, no sé si se han fijado lo que hace la teacher. La teacher, cuando yo me empiezo a trabajar con... Eh, ya sea español o sea inglés, hay que abrir la boca y soltar la lengua. ¿Okay? Relajar, respiro. Normalmente les digo, breathe in, breathe out. ¿Okay? Relax. Siempre esto es lo que nos afecta porque estamos así tensos y no nos va a salir los palabras. Estamos como sin todos trabajos. No, vamos a relajar y hablar, ¿verdad? Esto es nada más hablar. Okay, is there any question so far? Is there any question so far? No question, teacher. No questions. Thank you very much, Saul. Can you please okay. uh, share this conversation in the WhatsApp group? Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay people. Let's start then with a new topic about the imperatives. Okay, do you know what is an imperative? Do you remember about the imperatives? What is that? Imperatives. Mm -hmm. No me van a decir así como alguien me dijo una vez. Es cuando, por ejemplo, un niño que es que, que bien activo, que no se porta bien, y le dice es imperativo. No, es, ese es hiperactivo. ¿okay? Es muy diferente, ¿sí? Imperatives, imperatives is when you give instructions, when you give orders, when you give commands, and you are requesting someone to do something to perform an action, okay? Son cuando damos órdenes, instrucciones, cuando le decimos a alguien que haga algo de una manera directa. It's a direct command, okay? A direct command. Vaya que lo dije yo. A ver, Aida, what is an imperative? English, please. <laughs> y todo así, chuc, 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 sacudiendo Ay, la <laughs> Everybody, uh huh. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Command uh -huh. a other person. Exactly. Uh huh. Commands to another person. Okay. Uh huh. Carlos Edgardo, what is an imperative? Mm. 
You're muted. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I don't hear you. Okay. In in thirty. How that? Me. Me. Do your homework. It's in the Okay, do your homework. Yes, it's at the recommend. That's a very good example. Another example of an imperative sentence? Examples? Example, teacher? Uh huh. Of imperative sentences. Switch the TV off. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eat your lunch. Eat your lunch. Good. Mm -hmm. Hurry up, or you'll. Open the door. Open the door. Uh huh. Door, Hurry door. up. Hurry up or you'll miss the show. Okay. Alma, sit down. Put it down. Oh, put it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put it away too. Mm -hmm. All right. For put example, it there. In the, put it there. Yeah. In the pattern is he say the children. Just wait for me here, please. Ah, wait for me. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait for me here. Yeah, that's good. Or just wait up. Okay, wait up. And you just stay there and you have to uh, do Teacher. nothing and stay waiting for the person. Tell me, Emma. Shut up. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, quiet, please. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, it's it's correct. It's a command is the, too. Is, yeah. For example, she, don't be late. Okay. Is the mm -hmm. Don't be late. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't be late. And the opposite, get on time. Okay. Don't be late or get on time. All right. Uh huh. And another one. Uh, be take quiet. You said right. Uh huh. Take it out. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, Just don't keep like the garbage. Uh huh. Don't keep opening the fry keep fridge on. fridge. The don't fridge. Keep the fridge. Don't uh -huh. keep opening the fridge. I, I speak okay. up. It, it's not opening. It, it will be don't keep open. Don't keep don't open. Keep open. Yeah. Don't keep open. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one? Close the door. I speak up. Close the door. Speak up. Okay. Speak louder. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are imperatives, and you are telling someone to do something. It's the same structure we use when someone asks for directions. Maybe this person is lost, or they don't know where a place in the city is. Maybe they are, they want to get to the bank, for example, in the city, and the street they are walking, and, but they don't know the exact location, so they come and ask you for the directions. Uh, I mean, in order to give the directions, you are going to use imperatives, okay? Imperatives. You're not going to say, you go down the street. No, you're going to say, just go down the street, all right? So allow me just to go to some slides for you. Teacher. Tell me. I can, I, 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 I have a question. For example, I remember that in an imperative example, that teacher is, for example, uh, use the why don't, for example, is the question, nosotros decimos pregunta retórica, for example, why don't we go to the beach? Is it is in the imperative? Uh, no, it's, not uh, exactly. No, it's, it's, no. Uh, that's okay. in, like an invitation, uh, let's say invitation, but imposing your idea. Okay, and posing mm. your idea, but it's an invitation. You, okay. you change the sense. You change the sense instead of saying, uh, let's go to the beach. Okay. Mm, okay. Because you don't know if the other person is, uh, I mean, is uh, wants to go. Okay. If they would like to go. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Okay. So uh, let me just share the screen with the slides. And remember that an imperative usually we think that giving orders in our workplaces is wrong, but no, uh, the imperatives are, 
the red commands and they are very useful. What you have to do is, for example, in the context of your workplace, just to say, please, we'll make these a kind expression, right? Or a kind order. But the objective, the objective here is use the imperatives to give directions, okay? To give directions. It's completely out of the map where we were at when we studied the imperatives before. Because usually you need to use polite language when you request for something in your workplace. But in this case, when you give directions, you use direct commands. Okay, direct commands. And it, this is uh, for thee to get to important sites in their city or in my city or in their city, depending if I am visiting, I am asking for directions. But if I am... Uh, they are the visitors, then they are asking for the directions and I have to give directions. So asking and giving directions requires to use the imperative sentence. Okay. Do you know how to get to Paseo El Carmen? Do you know how to get to Paseo El Carmen? Mm -hmm. Do you know Paseo El Carmen? Where is it located? In Where is Paseo El Carmen? Mm -hmm. In Santa Tecla City. Okay, Santa Tecla City. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And how to get there? Do you have any idea how to get there? What places are close, Paseo El Carmen? What are the point of references? So this is what we want to see today, okay, from these 20 minutes that we are going to work in this, all right? So think about, for example, Dollar City. Where is Dollar City? Ah, uh, this is a city, ah, uh, Merliot City, okay? Where is Dollar City in Merliot? Is there a Dollar City over there? Do you know Merliot City? Yes, it's near of the Rondel del Platillo. Exactly. Uh -huh. So you have to round the roundabout. Uh -huh. This is a roundabout. Mm -hmm. Roundabout. Okay. Then we have avenues. Uh -huh. We have avenues. We have blocks, cuadras. Roundabout es el redondel. Traffic light es esto. Un semáforo. Okay. Traffic light. Yes. And I'm sorry. In front of the vivienda. Oh, that's good. Well, actually, it is not exactly in front of it because if you know the place, maybe it's going to be this side because the vivienda is in this other side. So, um, this is kind of. Um, en Salvadoreño, sí. <laughs> the vivienda, no, no. The vivienda is up the street and then when you uh, round the roundabout there is a subway and then there is dollar city okay dollar city is next to a subway not uh, mm -hmm. it, it's um, let's say pass the vivienda okay you pass the vivienda mm -hmm. go past the vivienda and then you get dollar city good but according to this maybe okay it sounds good Okay, then we have the four cardinal points, right? East, west, north, and south. What are the cardinal points? East. East, west, west and south. North and south. Uh -huh. Usually we say the second uh, avenue, uh, I'm sorry, the second north avenue. Okay, we say, for example, uh, the south like the first street, I mean, the first South Street, first South Street. We have to place South, North, West, if before street, before avenue, okay? Before street, before avenue nouns, names. Um, then, for example, what do you see in this picture? What do you see in this picture? We're going to do it like kind of. And okay, what do you see in this picture? The street. 
Okay. Cool. This is a street, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. The street. Do you see cars? Do you see cars? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you see buildings? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Building. Yes. Three. Okay. Which one, Aida? Trees. Yes. Trees. Yeah, that's good. Uh huh. Trees. Mm hmm. And do you see any sidewalk? Sidewalk. This is the sidewalk. La acera, sidewalk. And sidewalk. this is a lane. Miren, este que está acá es un lane. L-A-N-E. Maybe for bicycles, maybe for motorcycles, or maybe just to park the cars. Maybe uh, even here it says it doesn't. It's not allowed, right? Uh, it's not allowed. So maybe it's for these kind of carts or for jogging or running, right? So doing exercise. We don't know what's the purpose of this lane, exactly this one, but usually it's for bikes, for a motorcycles and so on. Okay, do you see any traffic light in this street? Yes, traffic teacher. Traffic lights, okay. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. can, you, can you point it? Yeah, that's good. And it is in the green light in this moment, right? Okay, what do we call these um, things? These, these, okay, the stops. Mm -hmm. But those are traffic signs, traffic signs, okay? Traffic signs, S-I-G-N-S, signs, all right? Señales de tránsito, right? Traffic signs. Okay, do you see houses around? Yeah. Do you see stores or business buildings? Yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see people around? No. Mm -hmm. No teacher. No see people. Okay. I but now see. we have <laughs> right. Now we have uh some objects that we described already. Okay, we described already. Now okay, the block, remember, maybe here it ends one block and it continues over here and from here and on we have another block. Okay. What do we need to give a location? Okay. What do we need to give a location? What vocabulary we need? Mm. For example, if someone asks you for directions how to get to the nearest gas station, for example, they will ask, excuse me, could you please tell me where the nearest gas station is? Mm. Okay. Esto se llama ubicación. Location, okay, location. Aquí no me están diciendo cómo llego yo ahí, ¿sí? Ahora, en esta otra que tenemos acá, no me están preguntando la, la ubicación. Ellos conocen la ubicación, no saben la dirección, pero están preguntando, how can I get to the place? Ah, en este estoy pidiendo direcciones y en este estoy pidiendo la ubicación, ¿ok? Location and directions, okay, location, directions, veamos la pregunta, ah, en esta de location usamos where, okay, usamos where, look, where, mm -hmm. so, excuse me, ah, it has a, a space, okay, now it is, so, excuse me, could you please tell me where the nearest gas station is? Okay. Pero si se fijan, tenemos dos preguntas acá, ¿sí? Por eso cambiamos el, de lugar el verbo be. Porque aquí la pregunta es, ¿me puede decir? 
Esa es la pregunta, ¿ok? Con la que empezamos. Y esta sí tiene forma de pregunta. Pero la siguiente, que yo, lo, la información que yo le estoy pidiendo es la ubicación, ¿verdad? Where the nearest. Nearest significa la más cercana, ¿ok? Nearest, la más cercana. Entonces, tell me where the nearest gas station is. Ok, vamos a ver la ubicación. Ah, necesito prepositions. Ok, es next to and the place on the corner of second and sun street. Ok, vamos a ver en esta qué necesito para contestar. Ah, en esta necesito los imperatives para dar directions, ¿ok? Directions, how to get to a place. Y vemos por acá que tenemos go on for two blocks. The bank, ah, y tengo una locación. Is on the left, ¿ok? Está a la izquierda, ¿ok? Vamos a ver entonces son prepositions of place. We have movement prepositions and place prepositions very useful to give directions to ask for directions and to give locations oh isabel okay so for example the raccoon this is a raccoon okay and he's playing with the box right he's playing with the box so he is on the box right on the box Mm -hmm. near the box it could be near the box it could be near next okay near next above the box you have to go over right above behind behind the box mm -hmm. right beside the box beside the box al lado de right beside between Between, between the boxes, between the boxes, under the box, right? The raccoon is under the box. Ah, where is the raccoon? The raccoon is in the box. Mm -hmm. Where is the raccoon? Ah, in front of the box, in front of the box. Pero fíjense que para que sea enfrente, Quiere decir que tiene que tener cara a cara, ¿verdad? Cara a cara. Porque si es cara con la parte de atrás, entonces no sería in front, ¿verdad? Sería behind, ¿ok? Bien. Vamos a ver. Uh, to the box. He's moving to. He's coming from a place going to. Uh, to the box. When he is coming out of the box, right? Walking out of the box and the action of, or the movement is moving away, right? Going out of the box. Then along the boxes, along the boxes, the boxes are right here and I go along the boxes, right where the boxes end. Okay, that's along, okay? From it starts where it's, where it ends, that's along. Um, up and down, that we know, right? Up and down. Through the box, for example, through a tunnel, right? Through a tunnel. Uh-huh. Uh, over the box. Over, like above. It's very similar. Even though above means, for example, it's hanging over, okay? <laughs> hanging over sounds the other way. Okay, like hangover, but no, it's, I'm not talking about the hangover, okay? I'm talking about I'm something aware. that it is. <laughs> Do you know that one? Okay. <laughs> Then hanging, okay? It's right above, but it can be over too. It can be over, all right? Uh, then past the box. The box is right here, and the place where I go is past the boxes. Maybe mm, just... Uh, two steps farther okay and then into the box moving from out to in so into into movement away from the box it's almost out of the box right out of the box but getting very far 
even though out of, it's just to stay right beside the box, okay? And it doesn't matter. Around the box, you are in a circle, right? Like in a circle, rounding. So it's around the box. So these are some um, imperatives that we use when we give directions. But the first thing I want you to see is that the imperatives when we give directions usually we um, use the verb that's important the verb is the first word okay the verb is the first word we say walk okay drive mm -hmm. or maybe you can say take the bus take a taxi okay walk drive, mm -hmm. ride, if you are going in a bike, right? So ride, walk, mm, drive. Mm -hmm. Then the preposition. It could be down, up, above, whatever. In this case, it's down and up, okay? Down and up the street, yeah? Down or up the street, right? Down the street, up the street. Usually down and up the street depends on uh, if you are coming or you are leaving the street, okay? Usually it depends on that. And Spanish is the same thing. And it, it is the same thing. Y usualmente decimos, mira, y ese yendo o viniendo, y ese bajando o subiendo, ¿sí? Es lo mismo, el mismo concepto, ¿sí? Walk down the street, walk up the street. Okay, so let's look at some imperatives we've got. For example, uh, straight ahead. Go straight ahead, right? Go straight ahead. Uh, turn left. Ir a la izquierda, right? Turn right. Ir a la derecha. Go past the park. Vaya y pase el parque. Eso es pasando el parque. No se vaya a quedar ahí por el parque porque entonces no es ahí, ¿verdad? Pase el parque. Si mira un parque, siga. Si no ve el parque, mejor detengas y pregunte. ¿verdad? Then take the first, take the second, dependiendo cuál, eh, porque, bueno, aquí tal vez sería como, va, en la primera entrada, ahí se mete. Sí, es lo mismo acá. Take the first, the second, eh, puede ser la segunda calle, el segundo pasaje, lo que sea, ¿verdad? Entonces, luego, turning on your left, for example. Right. Turning on your left, turning on your left, or on your right, it depends, okay? Ubicación exacta, it's on the right, it's on the left, side of the road, side of the street, side of the avenue, okay? Side, side is lado, side, lado, okay? Lo voy a escribir por acá, side en el chat, lo voy a poner para no sacar el otro, okay? Side is lado, ¿sí? Entonces, it's on the right side or it's on the left side of the road or the street or the avenue, okay? We can, have, we can say another command like go across the crossroad, okay? Go across the crossroad. Uh, the crossroad, la cruz calle, right? The crossroad, okay? So, for example, we have this imperative, go straight, yeah? go straight, mm -hmm. don't turn, don't turn, not the left, not the right, just go straight on the street, right? And then we have, for example, go on for two blocks, then you count the first entrance, okay, where it ends, yeah? And then we have, for example, this other, it could be turn to the left, turn to the right, okay? Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Left, right. Okay, then, uh, we have just one thing to see. Okay, this is just vocabulary. This is just vocabulary, and we want to go over here on the um, manuals, right, on your manuals. They are talking about a conference room, 
Okay, they are talking about a conference room. And we have uh, the prepositions. Um, just to, um, as a manner of reminding this. Now it's your turn, guys. It's your turn. You say the prepositions you see. Okay? The prepositions you see now. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we have this one. Is next. Next to. Look. Next to. Next to. Mm -hmm. Next to. Next to. Mm -hmm. Next to. One beside the other, right? Next to. In front of, this is your time. Uh huh. What do you call this preposition? In front of. Uh huh. Así, miren. In, in front, front, of. front of. In front, front of. of. In front of. In front of. In front of. Uh huh. Between. 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 Mm -hmm. This is across the street. Across the street. Across the street. Across the street. Ajá, across the street. También este se podría decir opposite. Okay, opposite. Este se podría decir opposite. Si están las dos caras acá, ¿verdad? Y luego la calle en medio, yo puedo decir opposite. Uh -huh. Luego tenemos opposite. around the corner. Miren, around the, the corner. corner. Pero también tengo at the corner y tengo on the corner. Ok, tengo the corner. at the corner y on the corner. Entonces, around the corner significa que usted va caminando aquí por la calle o por la acera, ¿sí? Puede mm -hmm. ser por driving or walking. ¿verdad? Walk around the corner. Luego tenemos on the right. The right. Mm -hmm. the right. On, on the left. The left. Right here. On the left. Uh -huh. Y luego tenemos down the street. The street. Down, down the street. The street. Uh -huh. Or up the street, teacher. Or up the street, exactly. Dependiendo de su punto de referencia, porque para poder dar direcciones necesitamos saber un punto de partida, ¿verdad? Necesitamos saber a reference point. Where are you located when you are asking for the directions? Por ejemplo, si yo le digo ahorita, mire, ¿cómo llego al Paseo del Carmen? ¿Y dónde está vos ahorita? Me van a preguntar a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo les voy a decir, desde San Salvador. Ah, ok. Ah, mira, ahí te vas en la 101 de Bea. O qué sé yo. Usted empieza a decirme, ¿verdad? Maneje por la carretera Panamericana, cualquier cosa en Spanish, right Es lo mismo exactamente en inglés. Lo único que en español y en el salvadoreño, nos cuesta mucho dar estas direcciones, ¿sí? Pero no es ningún problema y no es ningún obstáculo para poder hacer esto, ¿sí? Vamos sí. a ver. Siempre decimos, no, hombre, ¿y qué, ¿y qué está ahí cerca? Pues? <ríe> Porque nunca sabemos los nombres de las calles. Tenemos la dirección del pueblo. Ajá, o las direcciones del pueblo también. Es muy difícil, ajá. Es muy difícil, exacto. Pero bueno, tenemos, por ejemplo, acá. The hotel is across the street. The street. The gas station is around the corner. The bank is next to the gas station. The ATM is down the street on the right. The restaurant is down the street on the left. Veamos entonces. The hotel. Ah, entonces este es nuestro punto de partida. ¿verdad? Hemos llegado a esta ciudad y estamos en el hotel. ¿sí? We are at the hotel. So the hotel is across the street. Mm -hmm. Ah, entonces, vamos a ver. The, ca the gas station is around the corner. The gas station is around the corner. Uh -huh. Podría ser esta, ¿verdad? O podría ser esta, ¿no? ¿Sí? Hay dos esquinas acá, ¿sí? Vamos a ver la que sigue. The bank uh -huh, is next to the gas station. Uh -huh. Estaría acá. Oh, okay. Entonces, sí, es esta de gas station, right? Vamos a ver. The ATM is down the street on the right. Down the street on the right. Uh -huh. Usualmente, down va a ser la entrada de la calle. Okay. Usualmente. Down es para donde entra la calle, donde comienza, ¿sí? Entonces, sería, the ATM is down the street. Uh -huh. 
on the right. Ah, puede ser este también, ¿verdad? Porque quiero ver si estoy en el hotel, down the street. Mm -hmm. Ok. Vale, vamos a ver. The restaurant is down the street on the left. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a very good one. That's a very good one. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok, ¿qué hemos visto en este momento en estos últimos 20 minutos? Hemos visto las prepositions, tenemos across the street. ¿Qué otra preposición y qué otra expresión de lo, lugar tenemos? Around the corner. Next, Next to. to. Uh -huh. Down the street. Down the street. Uh -huh. On, On the, the right. right. On the left. Yeah. On the left. Y hemos visto imperativos. ¿Cómo le vamos a decir a la gente que haga algo? Camine es walk, ¿verdad? Que le decimos que siga manejando, ¿verdad? Que maneje drive. sería drive. Entonces, drive. exacto. Le podemos agregar a las preposiciones de movimiento esos verbos. Walk, drive, ride. ¿Ok? Walk, drive, ride. ¿Ok? Are we okay so far? It's okay, teacher. Okay. Ahí en la plataforma posteé eh, tres preguntitas que hay que contestar respecto al Salvador del Mundo, el monumento. Okay. Entonces ustedes en su tiempo libre mañana lo hacen y lo, pl lo platicamos mañana en la clase. Okay. Okay, teacher. Please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please say present. I'll call the roll. You guys ready? I'm ready, teacher. Aida Eugenia Ramírez Chávez. Present teacher. Alma y Amile Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Damaris Lizette Quevara Herrera. Present teacher. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present teacher. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Present teacher. Gabriela Lizette Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Estera Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Saul Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. A ver, eh, le toca el día de hoy quedarse a. Hoy sería número. 18, ¿verdad? Ok. Stephanie. Uh -huh. Stephanie, Stephanie. You want to stay, Stephanie? Sí, teacher. Ok, there we go, guys. Les recomiendo que por favor y les pido encarecidamente que completen la plataforma, ¿ok? Que no estén a último momento tratando de completar porque va a ser un poco complicado, ¿ok? Bien. Ok, teacher. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Teacher, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Okay. I was uh, waiting for...
question. No? Okay. Goodbye. Hello, Stephanie. How are you tonight? <laughs> Bien, teacher. I'm having kind of trouble with my my eyes. I don't know what's going on, but I'm having trouble. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How can I assist you? Do you mm. have questions? Yes. Eh, bueno, ahorita para identificar lo que estábamos viendo, porque sí me confundí un poquito. Y también eh, en que hice, ya completé lo de la plataforma, pero hay una que no me la da correcta. Entonces no, no tengo la puntuación completa por eso. Ok, es la, ¿cuál número? La 17, ¿no? Quiero ver. Aquí no tengo abierta. Sí, la número 17. Uh -huh. en, en, en el literal 4. Eh, que es you, you are going uh -huh. to have. Pero uh -huh. así lo he puesto y no me, me da incorrecto. ¿Puede ser eh, la mayúscula? Mm. fíjese que las otras la, la, la primera la hice no, es que todas las demás no necesitan mayúscula y ni punto solamente es como la frase para completar la oración entonces eh, solo es going to eh, y el verbo, ¿verdad? En esa sí, en la cuatro sí tiene que poner you con mayúscula y eh, you are going to have, es verdad, uh -huh. Uh -huh. con mayúscula y ahí le tendría que agarrar. No, te chévere. Vamos a ver. Le voy a, le voy a compartir mi, uh -huh. mi pantalla. Sí, sí. Aquí está. Uh -huh. Es esta. Uh -huh. Ahí tiene que ponerle you con mayúscula. Es la única que va a necesitar el you. Um... Ajá. Es, es un glitch en el sistema. Ok. Ahora sí le tendría que agarrar. Ahí está. Ok. Hoy okay. oh, sí. Uh -huh. Ya estoy en paz. <risa> ya acaba. Ya voy a poder. Ajá. Vaya, y de ahí solamente esa tenía, ¿verdad? Ah, pero yo creo que sale lo mismo en el examen, ¿verdad? En el examen. No, voy a... es no, que ya me lo parece hice. con 99. No sé cuál es la que me le está faltando. Oh, tiene que ser una oración la que esté faltando. A ver, voy a ir a ver. Cree que en el examen, dicho. Yo diría porque ahí es donde tuvimos que completar, ¿verdad? Sí, puede ser. En, do, en donde hubo alguna de completar. Eh, creo que es en la número 4. Sí. Puede ser. Ajá, en esa ha de ser el asunto. Yeah. En la de los imperativos, que son close y son y es help, ¿verdad? En los imperativos, close y help. Y el otro es en la parte 4. Is la going to cuatro. phone, are going to play, y luego is going to watch. No sé si las completó así. En la última parte del examen. Mm, me sale bien, en realidad. Ya están ya todas bien. esas. Ah, vale. Ajá. Y me no sale en chequecito verde. Ok. Y le parece Ajá. 20 sobre 20. Quizás. 25 sobre 25. Uh 
Ah, pues estamos bien. Uh -huh. eh, nos, ah, pues ha de haber sido. Ah, ajá. No, yo est estar viendo. Ya. Yeah. Creo que ya, yeah, Tichi. Sí, ya hoy sí. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ya, ya hoy sí, ya agarró. Uh -huh. Ya agarró todo. Uh -huh. Ya estamos bien. ¿Y de ahí tiene alguna otra pregunta o estamos bien, Stephanie? Solo para identificar lo que estábamos viendo ahorita, los... Uh -huh. O oh, si sí me puede compartir la imagen que puso del, de on bots, near bots, adobe near bots. Uh -huh. Vaya, para animarla, le quiero decir que eso a veces... Eh, bueno, esto necesita como práctica, ¿verdad? Para poder ir conociendo o comprendiendo. Identificarlo el mejor. Uh -huh. El significado, porque fíjese que a veces el significado es muy similar uno con el otro y muchas veces es hasta intercambiable. Ahorita se lo comparto. Uh -huh. A veces es hasta intercambiable, como decir above y como decir over, ¿verdad? A veces es. Usted dice over y dice above y no siente mucho la diferencia. Entonces, eh, acá lo tenemos, ¿sí? Tenemos on the box, near the box. Y near, si se fija, se parece mucho a next, el que vimos allá en el... En, el, um, en, en, en la el imagen manual. que estaba... Ajá. Ajá, en el manual tenemos next to y se parece mucho, mire, a near. Near podría ser es al lado. incluso. Ah, no, near es cerca. Okay. Oh. Near es cerca. Near the box es cerca. Y puede ser que near the box no necesariamente sea a la par de. Mm. Pero hay regiones. Podría que ser. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Ve? Acá tenemos beside the box. Beside no tiene movimiento, es estático. Mira, es estático. Ahí está cabal a la par de. Este es a la par de beside. Uh -huh. Beside. Tenemos también, a ver, este. En el, en el manual está. Aquí en el manual tenemos, no sé si mira el manual ahí. Sí. Vale. Acá, si se fija, mire, next to es como beside. Se parece mucho. It's next to or beside. Tenemos también. Pero eh, eso quizás es como más en contexto. En next to y in here. In here. Mm, es que near no necesariamente es a la parte. Um, next, to, yeah. next to es más similar a estar próximo a. Próximo a. Como más cercano el significado de a la par de. ¿Verdad? O sea, uh -huh. en español conocemos el concepto, solo que a la hora de aplicarlo ya en inglés y darle un significado, no es exacto al de nosotros. Se parece uh -huh. mucho. Sí, se parece mucho. Entonces, next to, úselo cuando usted tenga dos cosas así, ¿verdad? Eh, dos cosas cercanas, ¿verdad? Cercanas como al lado de o a la par de o cerca de, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos across the street, que también podría ser, como les decía yo, opposite. Opposite. Ajá, y luego acá tenemos las demás, el above y el over, que se parecen mucho. Mire, over y mire above, es casi lo mismo, casi lo mismo. Sí. Aunque above, above no es de mucho movimiento, está suspendido arriba de, mire, está su, como decir en segunda planta, vea, ahí es above, ¿ok? Cuando está como la segunda planta, eso es above. Algo que está suspendido, por ejemplo, eh, algo que esté como así, ¿verdad? Digamos, algo así. Como un edificio, above. digamos. Yeah, above. 
Ok. Mire, a boat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Probablemente no lo toca, probablemente lo toca, pero es, oh, ese es a boat. Ahora, uh -huh. over incluye hasta movimiento, ¿sí? Over uh -huh. es que pasó sobre, ya, pasó sobre de, ya. Over. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo decir? Over the bridge. O encima del puente, vea, sobre el puente. Over the bridge. Um, through, también, mire, tenemos through, este, through, que este es a través de, a través del túnel, ¿verdad? A través de la caja. Um, ¿Y cuál otra era que tenía? Me dijo. No, solamente pues. En esas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es que por eso ponemos acá eh, en nuestro tema de oh, movimiento y de lugar. Las de movimiento normalmente son para dar direcciones y la, la de lugar es para dar la ubicación de una cosa o de un lugar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ¿dónde está el parque? Where is the park? Uh, where is the police station? Where is the school? Right? Uh, where is the church? Where is the cathedral? Uh, y así, ¿verdad? Cualquier, where is the bank? Where is the drugstore? Esa es ubicación. Pero si yo le pregunto, how can I get to the bank? Ah, ¿cómo llego? Ahí le estoy pidiendo las de movimiento. Bueno, camine dos cuadras abajo, ¿verdad? Go on for two blocks down the street. Yeah. Y así. ¿Ok? Eso sería todo. Ajá. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Mire, este tema yo la, la animo porque en español nos cuesta incluso. Sí. <ríe> Para dar las direcciones sí. así nos cuesta. Porque no es parte de nuestra eh, cultura salvadoreña dar una dirección de esta manera, ordenadamente, ¿verdad? Sino Mucho. que nosotros le decimos, mira, agarras para arriba, de ahí cruzas, contás dos calles y ahí cruzas. A la par, a la par de un del edificio árbol. rojo, <ríe> ya, a la par de un edificio rojo, mira, vas a ver una casa con portón café. Ah, pues, nada que ver, nada que ver las direcciones en El Salvador. Ya, ajá, usualmente a, a todos mis estudiantes como que eh, les ha costado un poquito esta parte, pero hay que verlo de este punto de vista, Stephanie. Miremoslo como aprender las frases completas para que no nos cueste. La, la frase completa, okay. porque por ejemplo acá nosotros estamos aprendiendo la preposición, pero si ya nos vamos a la frase completa, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos decir, eat straight ahead, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Estas son otras formas de decirlo, eh, pero es la forma exacta o es la forma correcta, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, go past the park, go past Burger King, go past... Ah, ¿Qué puedo decir? Super selectos, ¿verdad? Go past, váyase de paso de ahí y camine dos cuadras más. Walk for two blocks, right? Walk for two blocks. Y así, aprendiendo las frases enteras, se nos va a hacer un poquito más fácil. Oye. Ajá. Gracias, Pichet. Solo okay, si, gracias. si puede pasar estas imágenes a, a WhatsApp. Así la voy a, la voy a imprimir. Está bien. Porque estas Perfecto. no están en el manual, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cómo no? En el manual tenemos eh, la otra. Eh, Ajá. La en el manual estamos tenemos bien. Ajá, estas es. expresiones, mire, estas, uh -huh. estas que están acá, mire, que son prácticamente uh -huh. las mismas, ¿verdad? They go straight, go past, turn left, turn right, go up, down the street, go down the street, go on for the box, take the first left, right, o la que sea, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted se fija, ninguna lleva sujeto, ¿verdad? Todos son imperativas. ¿verdad? Va directo el verbo y la preposición o la ubicación o el lugar. Por eso decía yo eh, cuando le mostraba acá cómo formar el imperativo gramaticalmente. ¿verdad? Ya como en la gramática, eh, lo tenemos acá así. En el slide les ponía yo que primero va el verbo, no va ningún sujeto, ¿sí? No va ningún sujeto acá, sino que va directamente el verbo como la primera eh, palabra, ¿verdad? 
verb in base form, que sería el infinitivo, pero sin to, ¿verdad? Verb in base form, luego tenemos preposition, dependiendo de la ubicación que, que estemos dando, ¿verdad? Porque las prepositions eh, también puede ser como straight, derecho, ¿verdad? Eh, puede ser to, puede ser for, on, in, at, ¿verdad? Eh, next to, etc. Eh, y aquí en estas preposiciones en los imperativos cuando damos direcciones son de movimiento. Aquellas que están allá, ¿verdad? Walk down, walk up. Son movimientos. Si se fija, up, down. Como sí. cayendo, ¿verdad? Porque la otra estática sería under, under, abajo, y la otra es above, ¿ya? Entonces no puede ser. Sería under o puede ser on, ¿verdad? La otra estática. Entonces es lo que hay que ir como... Eh, entendiendo, digamos, la unión de una expresión completa para que se nos vaya quedando más fácil, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces ya se las voy a pasar ahí en el WhatsApp. Y les voy a enviar un link. Uh, aunque usted allí puede hacer el, el de la plataforma para eh, contestar las tres preguntas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces le voy a, le voy a mandar eh, un sitio eh, donde van a hallar vocabulario de eh, la ciudad, ¿verdad? vocabulario de, para poder dar direcciones, ¿ok? De lugares de la ciudad, como por ejemplo, traffic light, the street, the avenue, the roundabout, the, um, the sidewalk, eh, the crossroad, y así, otro montón de, de palabras importantes. Entonces se los voy a pasar dentro de un ratito ahí en el WhatsApp hoy. Para que tomen ahí ejemplo. Gracias, teacher. Ok, Stephanie. Have a very good night then. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.